Think again, we're ripping off the lid off the sneaker industry to reveal what's really inside those unauthorized boxes. Get ready for a reality check that will change the way you look at your favorite sneakers forever. Stay tuned and don't miss out on the shocking truth. Unauthorized sneakers, also known as replicas or fakes, have gained popularity for several reasons. They offer a cost-effective alternative to high-end brands, often providing similar styles and comfort at a fraction of the price. This affordability makes them appealing to a wide audience, especially those who value fashion but may not have the means to afford authentic virgins. Additionally, unauthorized sneakers are readily available and often include rare or exclusive designs that are difficult to find in the legitimate market. Despite legal and ethical considerations, the demand for these sneakers continue to grow, reflecting a shift in consumer priorities towards accessibility and style over brand name and status. The price difference between authentic and unauthorized sneakers is significant. Unauthorized sneakers often labeled as UA for unauthorized authentics are typically sold at a lower price point compared to their genuine counterparts. While both may be made using the same materials and sometimes even in the same factories, unauthorized sneakers lack official brand authorization and quality control, which contributes to their reduced costs. Consumers who prioritize savings may opt for these unauthorized versions as they can offer a similar look and feel to the original shoes without the high expense associated with brand name products. The sneaker culture has transformed athletic shoes into luxurious items with collaborations between high-end fashion brands and sneaker companies leading to the exclusive and often expensive releases. These partnerships with designers and celebrities have elevated sneakers from functional sportswear to status symbols, coveted for their design, rarity, and cultural significance. As a result, sneakers have become a prominent feature in the luxury fashion market with some pairs selling for many times their retail value. Consumers can save significantly by opting for unauthorized sneakers due to the substantial price difference from authentic virgins. Unauthorized sneakers often made with similar materials and designs are sold at a lower price because they don't carry the brand's official endorsement or guarantee. This allows buyers to enjoy the style and functionality of a high-end sneaker without the associated cost, making it an attractive option for those on a budget or who value style over brand prestige. The misconception that unauthorized sneakers are inherently low quality is not always accurate, unauthorized sneakers, sometimes referred to as UA or unauthorized authentic, can vary in quality, with some being nearly identical to the authentic versions, even surpassing in some cases. They may use the same materials and be produced in the same factories as the official products. The difference often lies in the lack of brand authorization and quality control, which can lead to a lower price point. However, it's important to note that while some unauthorized sneakers may match the quality of genuine ones, that is not a universal standard and quality can vary widely amongst different unauthorized products. The sneaker resale market involves significant hidden costs like purchasing box, transaction fees, and traveling expenses. These costs, along with the risk of counterfeit and legal issues, make reselling sneakers a costly endeavor on more than one occasion. Unauthorized sneakers bypass many of the additional expenses associated with the official sneaker market. Here's how they manage to do so. No brand endorsement costs. UA sneakers are produced without the official permission of the brand, which means they don't incur the marketing and endorsement costs that drive up the price of authentic sneakers. Direct factory production. Some UA sneakers are made in the same factories that produce authentic versions using similar materials and methods, but they avoid the brand's quality control and distribution channels, reducing costs even more. There is also lower overheads by not being a part of the official retail chain. Sellers of UA sneakers can operate with lower overheads, passing on the savings to customers. Another one would be avoidance of resale market fees. Consumers buying UA sneakers directly from producers or sellers bypass the sneaker resale market, which is known for high transaction fees and other associated costs. And last but not least, no legal brand protection. As UA sneakers are not legally affiliated with a brand, they don't contribute to the legal protections and intellectual property rights costs that authentic sneakers encompass. Survey data and consumer opinions shed light on why people choose unauthorized sneakers. A survey from in 2020 21 revealed that 46% of participants admitted to buying fake sneakers, indicating a significant portion of consumers are open to purchasing unauthorized products. Additionally, while 31% of American consumers expressed dissatisfaction upon receiving a counterfeit sneaker, a surprising 69% were okay with receiving a fake item. This suggests that majority of consumers may prioritize factors such as cost or style over authenticity when it comes to footwear. Brand perception and consumer values play a crucial role in the sneaker 
sneaker market today. Consumers often associate brands with certain qualities and lifestyles, which can significantly influence their purchasing decisions. A strong brand perception can lead to a loyal customer base and justify higher prices for authentic sneakers. Kind of sounds like brainwashing to me, but on the other hand, consumer values are shifting. Many prioritize comfort, functionality, and personal style over brand reputation. This shift is evident in the growing popularity of unauthorized sneakers, which offer similar styles and comfort at a lower cost. While some consumers still value the status that comes with owning a branded product, Others are more concerned with practicality and affordability. Ultimately, the balance between brand perception and consumer values determines the choices people make in the sneaker market, whether they opt for authentic or unauthorized products. In a world where the lines between authenticity and affordability blur, what truly defines the value of a sneaker to you? Are you ready to step into the world of style without straining your wallet, dive into the realm of unauthorized sneakers, and discover a universe where fashion meets affordability? Share your thoughts thoughts and experiences with me and join the conversation about the true cause of authenticity. Comment, like, and subscribe for more insights into the sneaker revolution. Join the conversation and let me know your take on unauthorized sneakers. Do they represent a savvy choice or a step too far? Comment below with your views and share this video to keep the discussion going. In the comment section down below, tell me what you like about the sneaker that we showcased in this video. If you have any questions about getting these sneakers below retail, join the free discord, Instagram, and TikTok. And if you do spend time with yourself, you'll never be alone be easy on it